Yo, what's up, misfits? It's Crypto Kirk back at it. I just want to take a moment to reflect, take a step back, review my actions from the past and I come before you with this video with my tail between my legs why is that you ask well something happened in the last 12 15 hours or so maybe longer almost 24 hours Actually, yeah, it's been maybe even longer than that. But yesterday I put out two videos back to back. And it wasn't normally what I put out. It was more of bashing people. I named names. I wasn't proud of that looking back. And what got me was my views and subscriberships came to a screeching halt. Literally. Literally. And I was a little perturbed by that. So I thought YouTube may have been out to get me. Somebody was conspiring to keep me down. Me and my under 200 subscribers. Small but tiny but strong misfit community. YouTube already feels we are a threat. So I called them. I came in contact with somebody at YouTube. And I started off with, and I quote, what the fuck? And the lady was thrown aback. Who starts a conversation like that? Well, the conversation went okay. I found out why. I was indeed getting throttled. They put me down. They pinned us down. Okay, and they said, you know, you've been talking shit here and there on your whole, on your channel since day one. And you crossed the line yesterday by naming names. Crossed the line. You called Jed McCaleb a flat out scam artist accusing him of doing something that he in fact has not done how dare you what gives you the right who what gives you the right and I didn't know how to answer to that. She was right. What did give me the right? So, being the non-confrontational person I am, I asked her, how do we fix this? Because I want, I need to get to a thousand subscribers so I can sell my hoodies and t-shirts. Because that's really why I started this channel. Once I get to a certain amount of subscribers, I'm going to make hoodies and you guys are going to buy it and then I'm going to make enough money and then I'm going to retire and then I'm going to quit. That's why I started this channel. So I was like, so how do we fix this? Because I need to get to a thousand subscribers. She said, well, first of all, you need to get back out there and apologize. Apologize. 
to John McAfee, Jed McCaleb, and Tron. So here I am, guys. I'm apologizing. And if John's watching this, I apologize from the bottom of my heart. I didn't mean to call you a stain, scumbag, whatever I called you. I don't even remember anymore, but it was out of line. Truly, truly out of line. Please don't show up. I know you know where I live. And I totally crossed the line with that one. Please don't show up at my house with this sort of artillery. Please, God. Okay, so I apologize, John, from the bottom of my heart. It won't ever happen again. Jed McCaleb, I called you a crook, a thief. You have a billion dollars, and you know what? No, you started... You created Mount Gox, Ripple, and Stellar Lumen. I can't, I can't hate on that by any stretch of the matter. Whether you stole money or not, that's neither here nor there, and it was out of line for me to say that, so I, I deeply and sincerely apologize. You're actually, in fact, a legend. I mean, those are three... Well, I mean, whatever, whatever. One got hacked. The other one is centralized that people can't stand. And the third one is, is closely behind it and similarly compared to it. So, whatever. Okay, no, I apologize. I apologize. You're a legend. Jed McCaleb, I crossed the line. Justin, Justin, Justin. 30 for 30, man. 30 under 30. How can I hate on that? How can I hate on that? I can't. I can't. Look at that picture, man. That's just, he's wholesome. I mean, there doesn't appear to be a bad, single bad bone in this guy's body. I mean, look at this. So cute. I apologize, Justin. Your, your platform is well on its way to doing big things. And I crossed the line. In all honesty, you guys don't, you guys aren't into manipulation. I don't, there's no proof. There's no proof. And I can't just accuse you of it. I can't just run around accusing you of it without any proof. So... You know, that's that. I wanted to apologize to these guys. They're actually heavy players in this space. And, no, you know what? I just, I got to get to that 1,000 subscribers, man. God, I got my hoodies ready to go. They're all boxed up. They're ready to go. So, I don't know, I, I don't know, I think I might have to contact YouTube or just let them know that I uploaded this. And I think they're gonna, <clears throat> I think they're gonna, they'll, they'll remove the throttle. I really do. Because it literally came to a screeching halt, man. I was getting like five, even though it dwindled since my Tron video that got 3,000 views. So, I didn't have any viewers, barely. And then, I put a Tron video that got so many views. All my other videos have like 10 views and then this Tron video has got like 3,000. Ever since then, I've been slowly getting, you know, 10, 15, 20 subs a day. And then it's kind of naturally, it's dwindled back down. But it was still 5, 6, 7, 8 a day. And then after those two videos, you know, that I ripped on these guys, it came to a screeching halt, literally. I check my analytics, you know, anybody that has a YouTube channel, they're going to check their analytics, okay? It's just fun. I'm a stats, I'm a numbers guy, I enjoy it. So, I check it once in a while, and literally, actually I check it a lot, and it wasn't moving. It wasn't moving. It literally came to a screeching halt, zero zilch. And it was fishy to me, 
and I looked into it and sure enough I was right YouTube in fact is keeping us down guys they're holding down the misfit community so I need to change I need to be I need to be uh, have more awareness on what we're uploading all right so I hope they everyone accepts my apology YouTube lifts their throttle and uh, we're back in business all right guys so with that being said I'm gonna get you guys some some good vids upcoming so make sure you hit that subscribe and notification bell that's the important part all right so listen YouTube algorithm knocked us down in the last 24 hours what do we do what's our attitude gonna be it's gonna be that we're gonna pretty much just let it bounce right off our shoulders okay and instead of going in the gutter we're gonna come back we're gonna we're gonna do the right thing and uh, just bounce back all right guys so before I ramble on any further Jesus it's crypto Kirk it's the crypto misfits thank you Justin you're a good man